the whole time right in front of me. Beauty. Here they are, the winter chanterelles. Notoriously hard to find among the leaves. It's like trying to find Where's Wally in a magic eye puzzle. But once you get your eyes locked on, you suddenly see hundreds of them. I just love that thrill of getting your eye tuned in on the forest and then suddenly all the mushrooms just pop out. When you see a fallen beech log and zone in on it and discover that it's got all these cheeky little golden mushrooms hiding underneath it. Filming for Country Fall was amazing, but uh, one thing that we um, were told we couldn't do on Friday was talk about mushrooms. <laughs> so, obviously, here we've got a prime example of some of the dangers of going out foraging for delicious mushrooms and making a pretty easy mistake. Some lovely key characteristics of the winter chanterelle. Edible, delicious. Wrinkled like a ball sack. Wrinkled like a ball sack. A prize for autumnal flavours. In fact, I like eating them raw. <laughs> However, delving into this area, we have an inedible and slightly poisonous, right? Make you a bit sick? It'd definitely make you sick, yeah. Sulfur tuft. Some similar characteristics in terms of its colour, its location. Bendy yellow. Yeah. They both grow around rotting wood. So, obviously, you know, grabbing handfuls and handfuls of, of chanterelles and getting a few in here would have been a, a slightly dangerous game to play, so... Be aware, avoid, discard. <laughs> so there's the toxic sulfur tuft, cheekily growing right next to the delicious winter chanterelles. <laughs> now. So I wrote this poem about winter chanterelles, but it's also about Terry Herbert, the man who discovered all that Anglo-Saxon gold buried in a field near Birmingham. And I was thinking about how finding a mushroom is a, a bit like a mini version of finding the old English gold. It's called Terry Herbert. I think of him while picking winter chanterelles, whose hollow stems resemble hilts and bangles, flattened tubes of soft gold, half bent by intent, the gold bender's art, and half deformed by earth. 